Hello and welcome to this video which aims to show you how you can share offline files in various ways using Purple Mash. With a lot of children using Purple Mash for homeschooling purposes, their teachers quite often are asking them to upload and share some content such as videos, photos, Word documents and so on. So I'll show you the different ways in which you can do this within Purple Mash. One of the popular ways right now for teachers to contact their children with tasks and projects for their children to complete is by sending them an email. Now I'm currently impersonating a child in one of my classes, Aaliyah, and Aaliyah has received an alert. She's received a new email. So she clicks go to. She's been given a challenge from myself, a task from her teacher, asking them to upload um, and attach a photograph or a scan document of their work. Now, if Aaliyah has done this work, either as a Word document or if they've taken a photo of their own um, handwritten work, they can upload this by replying to the email, writing their message. I'll give a quick smiley face. And at the bottom of the screen, you're given the option to attach a file. A child can paint a picture as well, if that's one of the tasks the class teacher has set. But for this instance, I'm going to attach a file um, of Aaliyah completing her work. Now you'll notice that you have the top option is from my PC. So whichever device your child is logging into Purple Mash from, they can access any saved folders and files from here. So if I click from my PC, I'm taken to my pictures library. And in here, I've got a saved picture of Aaliyah's story map. So I'm going to click on that and then select open. Now, after a few short moments, you'll notice that it has now been added to the bottom of Aaliyah's reply. So she has replied at the top of the email thread and then any work is attached at the bottom. You'll notice as well that you can attach further examples of work by repeating this same procedure. Another popular way of teachers interacting with their children during this school closure period is that they set tasks for children to upload to blogs. If your child's teacher is doing that, your child will receive an alert when a new blog post has been made live by their teacher. They can either click on the alert and click go to, or if at a later date, they can still access this by clicking on the sharing icon at the top and accessing the shared blog by clicking here. Now in this case, Aaliyah's teacher is setting them daily tasks on the blog. Now if I open today's blog post, Aaliyah's been asked along with the rest of her class to um, finish off an online safety post that they started yesterday at home. Post your pictures and scan documents in a blog post. So I'll show you how to do that now. For Aaliyah and any other children to create a blog post, at the top of the screen click on the plus icon. You can then give your post a title, such as online safety poster, BC Chat. And then once I click on the main body of the blog post, I can now activate these tools here. Now I want to add an image of my online safety poster I completed using felt tip um, at home with my parents. So I'm going to click add image. I can, I'm taken to the um, Purple Mash clip art Picker area. However, I want to choose a file and you'll notice that again, I get the option to select from my PC. If I select this now, I'm taken to my saved picture area. If you're accessing this from a tablet, you'll be taken to your camera roll and I want to upload my online safety document. So if I select open, then you'll notice that gets embedded into the blog post. I can write some extra text as well if I'd like to, but I'm quite happy just by uploading it and then I'll click save. Now, this is my post, but as you'll see here, it's not approved. The child's class teacher will need to be able to view, make sure the content's appropriate, and then when they're happy with that, they will approve it and your child's work will be seen by the rest of the class if that's what the teacher would like to happen. Okay. Finally, another way to upload documents and images that have been created offline is to access your child's work folder. 
Within the work folder, you can find documents that have been created within Purple Mash, but you can also use the upload facility to upload a file that you've created offline. If I select upload, you get taken to this window here, and if you click, it will take you to your um, files area where you can choose either documents, images, and so on. From here, if you just click the um, picture you'd like, so in this case, I'm just going to do that as an example, and then it can be uploaded into the area. You can rename these files as well by clicking on the icon and then selecting the rename button at the top. So I'm just using this as an example, but we can call it example. It's worth noting that any work or file stored in your file, your child's My Work folder is only visible by your child and their class teacher. If any work is saved to a class, group or school folder, that work will be able to be seen by other members of those folders. Final thing to note is as much work can be saved in this area here. However, your child's teacher won't be alerted to any new work that has been saved in their work folder. So if you do upload anything to your work folder and you want to let your child's teacher know, it might be worth either dropping them a message using the two email facility or getting in touch another way that suits you. I hope this video has been useful. Happy purple mashing.